Hey, welcome back to our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia. Well, if you watched the last video, you saw the disaster that we had with the panel for the antique spool cabinet. So in this video, we're going to make a new, a new panel and try to make it look old. Let me show you how we're going to do that. And just so you know what we're working on, here's the, uh, the piece. It's a spool cabinet, probably from the turn of the century. It's in oak. This is the panel that we repaired in the last video and it's just too short and the big problem with it is this quarter inch rabbit is the only thing that holds it in the frame and that's just not going to do for a piece of solid uh, paneling so we're going to put that aside and save that for another project so what we're going to do is build a new panel that's going to go inside this frame and that's going to be the focus of this video understanding the the level of the restoration that we're committing to in this these drawers have all been tampered with these fronts have come off here's one of the fronts right here the fronts have come off and someone has put this god-awful wicker and plastic insert in them this should have been uh, wood with a decal indicating what was in the drawer and what we're going to have to do is take the fronts off of all these drawers cut out an oak insert to inlay here, finish it so it matches, and then put that back on. They sell decals, replacement decals. Initially I was going to, to, to get those decals. We've decided because of the condition of this and the fact it's going to have a new uh, panel top on it that we're just going to make it uh, as nice as we can without spending any more money on it. So I had talked about replacing all of these drawer pulls we're going to glue these in and leave them right the way they are and we're just going to put in uh, quarter sawn oak veneer into these uh, uh, these recesses put the drawer fronts back on and let the new owner decide if they want to put decals in there or not but before we can do anything we have to get this panel situation squared away so let me show you how we're doing that and here on the bench is some quarter inch plywood that I've cut oversize and underneath it is some quarter sawn oak veneer so what we're going to do is veneer this piece so it's going to be our panel we'll veneer it with quarter sawn oak and I've got weights on this because I'm trying to uncurl the veneer but this will be what our panel will be a quarter sawn oak veneered piece of plywood then we'll finish this in that dark walnut to match what's on there and that will be our new uh, our new panel and while I'm at it I'm doing the same thing on another blank piece of plywood so that I can use that to cut out for the inserts for the drawers and hopefully they will fit as I look at that I'm thinking that's a quarter inch but I got to double check all right so the next step is to glue the veneer onto the panel and I'll show you how we do that next okay this is how it goes on put this on with a roller too if you wish I'm not that concerned about getting right up to the edges because I know I've cut this piece oversize and after it sets up we'll trim it back to length and that allows me to keep it attached down with the tape and the weights so I can work around that uh, that curl it's got And both pieces have a uh, nice coat of weld wood contact cement on them. We'll set our timer for 20 minutes. We come back, we'll bond them together. Okay, 20 minutes is up. Wish me luck.
there we go it's on I'm gonna let it set for just a little while I'm gonna hit it with the J roller let it set for just a little while and then we'll come back and trim those Okay, what we did is uh, opened up the grooves a little bit by running it through the table saw with the blade uh, adjusted height wise and the fence width wise to get what we wanted. And then as you saw the last little corners where the blade wouldn't get, we just chiseled it in. So we've got a good fit now. We have the uh, oak panel installed. It's nice and stiff. It's not bouncy and it's not going to crack like the other one did. So now we have to color match these two things. This is a wax finish. Uh, the whole piece really has a wax finish on it and, and that's what I'm going to duplicate. That's why we had, I don't know if you can see, if you look in this corner you can see where the, the blue tape pulled the color up and, and that's extremely unusual and the only way that happens is if the color is on there with wax. So. But anyways, we need to color match these. So what I did is I took some pieces of veneer and I played around with them. And what I came up with was sealing the piece, applying a dark walnut dye stain to it, and then going over it with a dark wax. And we came up with a pretty good match. So that's the next step. We're going to get these sealed up and uh, get the dye on it. And there's a rough idea of what it's going to look like when it's all back together. I think we, uh, I think we, we made the right decision here to replace that panel. All right, let's start working on getting it finished. I'm going to spray on. I'm going to spray on the dye stain and then brush it and see how that comes out. Okay, I want to seal the color in, but I don't want to really make much of a build because I'm going to put wax on this. I want it to look like a wax finish. So what I'm going to do is just spray a diluted coat of shellac on it, and then I'll, I'll wax over top of that. So here we go. And that should do it. Well, I've just thrown it together so you can get, a, get an idea of what this looks like. I think it came out... Fairly well. I haven't put the wax on the top yet, and when I rub it down, it's going to lose a little bit of that gloss. But um, I think we accomplished what we needed to with as far as the top goes. Going through with some mineral oil and steel wool just over some of these pieces to take some of the dirt off. And we still have to drive nails in and, and fill these nail holes up. But I think you can see that just by putting the, uh, the oil on, we're starting to remove some of the dirt and bring some of the character back to the wood. It's not quite so muddy looking as it was before. So I think I'm going to mount these pieces 
And all I'm going to do is just uh, nail back through the, the nail holes that were there. That's no big deal. Uh, there are gaps in uh, up here. This piece here is fixed. This is one of the pieces that we had off. And they come together very well at the top. That joint is tight and flat, but the piece is bowed and it drops off down here. So we'll mount that you know, some way that it's acceptable. And then we've still got to get some dark wax on this, which will uh, darken up and cloud up a little bit the, the lighter fields here and tone down some of the sheen that we have. But we're not too far off. So let me get this all mounted up and I'll bring you back. Okay, we've reattached the top and I used glue where I could and nails. Then we filled all the nail holes. I think it uh, I think it came out pretty good. You know, there are places where it's, it's chipped and banged. We're going to leave those. There's places like here where the joints didn't come together, but they came together right there. So be it. This thing's old. But this is what we made, and this is not going to crack again. Somebody can put a weight on there. It's not going to break. And the color match is, is, is good. When it uh, Tomorrow I'll hit it with some black wax. To, to, but there we go. I've got a clamp here. This, uh, this joint was open. This joint was extremely open, and it was a nail that was holding it out, so I got that line back up and in, and there we go. So today was a good day. Tomorrow, let's tackle these drawer inserts, and I think we'll be finished with this old girl. But we made the right decision. I'm happy with it. I'll see you in the morning. Well, change of plans. The boss came in, and she looked at this, and she gave it a thumbs up, but she reminded me that I've got a project I've got to get done tomorrow so she can have it for Tuesday. Which means they're going to have to work late tonight. That's all right. I had nothing else to do besides sit around anyhow. So what I did is I ran two pieces of tape across this routed out area for the uh, insert. And then I took a scalpel and I just traced around it. And it came out with a pattern that I stuck on a piece of plywood here. Now what I'm going to do is cut this. A little tiny bit smaller. I'm going to take the line, I'll cut this on the jigsaw, and use this as a pattern to cut out six of these inserts out of the uh, veneer that we dyed earlier, and I'll show you that in a second. Then I take these drawers apart, lay the uh, replacement piece in here, get rid of this ugliness, lay the replacement piece in here, glue it in, and then we'll re, uh, re glue the drawer fronts. And then all we have left after that is to we're going to glue these back in. I'll take out what I can and then I'll uh, wax and oil over this so this little area that shows the original escutcheon disappears and then this will look like it belongs and I don't know if I'm going to color these or just leave them the way they are. Right now they match this but once I darken this they're probably not going to look good so we're probably going to have to color them. So anyways next step is off to the bandsaw so let's go. Here we go! remember is this doesn't have to be an exact fit because the drawer front covers an awful lot of this. You can see up here how much of that is going to be hidden. But let's see how we did. Look at that. Like a puzzle piece for crying out loud. Okay you're looking down at the drawer. We're going to try to remove these drawer faces. We're not going to be the first people to have done this. We know that. We know that the other one was pretty well torn up. So we will do our best to get this off without damaging anything. I'm going to turn the sound way down because the heat gun uh, makes an awful lot of noise on the video. We got it off. And that's what's in there. That's what we're dealing with on our cleanup. 
All right, I've got uh, four more drawers to do, so I'll bring you back. Well, all the drawer fronts are off. It took me about two and a half hours. It was very, very difficult. I'll bring you in and try to show you what the problem was. I think you can see how torn this secondary wood is. When these drawers were taken off the first time, they were taken off, um, must have been pretty violently, and all this was torn. And then when the drawer faces were put on, I think they were put on with hide glue because it would melt and then re-harden as I was trying to take it off. But there was no place where there was, you know, wood and glue where you could just slide the knife down in there. You were constantly coming into multiple planes of adhesive, multiple planes of, of wood, and it was very, very difficult to, uh, to get the tops off. And maybe you can see by the, the bottoms of these how chewed up they are. And we had a couple of splits that occurred as we took them off, but we've got those repaired. So tomorrow we'll, uh, we'll cut the new veneer, we'll inlay them into these cutouts, we'll scrape the surface of these, reattach the drawer fronts, and we should be done. But it was a good day. It's starting to look pretty nice. See you tomorrow. And here's how I'm putting these drawers back together. First thing we do is scrape both surfaces to get the old glue off. This uh, insert of the new veneer merely needs to be held on. It doesn't need to be, to be uh, perfect. It just needs to kind of be held on there. So what I'm using is some hot melt glue. And the benefit of this is it allows me to glue this down in a matter of seconds and move on. If I had hot uh, hide glue, I'd use that right now because within a couple of minutes it starts to gel up. But this uh, hot melt glue is a good alternative for things like that. And there, it's in. The next thing I'll do is uh, glue both sides of these and lay it on and clamp it up. I'm going to glue off camera and I'll bring you back for the, uh, for the finished result. And there's a drawer all clamped up, clamps, tape, etc, etc. I'd be lying if I didn't tell you this has been very difficult with all six of these drawers. They are extremely badly damaged and it's very, very hard to get flat surfaces to glue on. And here's the other drawers glued and clamped the best we can get them. But the damage both caused by the first time these drawer fronts came off and honestly when I took them off, uh, it was pretty extensive. So this is pretty, pretty difficult to glue up, but I think we've got it to the point that these drawer fronts uh, will be nice and flat and stay on as they should. All right, let me finish up the last drawer and I will bring you back. Well, it's been a busy morning. We got the, the drawers all glued and clamped. We put a little bit of color on those knobs so they match the inserts a little bit better. And uh, we're just going to let everything set up and dry. Put this thing back together and I'll bring you back for the final shot. So there you go. We're almost done. Well there it is. What do you think? I think it looks great. Much, much better than before. Looks nice and old. Looks worn. Rock solid. I'm real happy with the way it came out. I think this kind of uh, of repair and refinish was perfect for this piece because it wasn't pristine when we got it. So let's make the decision to make it so someone's going to want it in their house because I can't bring it back to original after what was done to it. But all the drawers work. We've got our new liners in here. Got rid of that ridiculous wicker or whatever the heck it was. If they want to go buy decals and put them in there, they can. 
and the top which was a complete broken mess we redid with a new panel color matched it color matched it and I think it looks great I'm real happy with it well hope you enjoyed that uh, series on fixing up that uh, antique spool cabinet it was fun I apologize a little bit if the video was kind of choppy I had uh, two or three other projects in the shop at the same time and was under a terrific time crunch to get all of them done so I was bouncing back and forth and there were times I was working on that cabinet and I just didn't have you along because either I couldn't get the camera in there or I just had to move move right along but but anyways I hope you enjoyed it I hope you learned something from our shop just outside Kennesaw here in North Georgia best regards thanks for watching take good care and remember it's just wood color and some shiny stuff thanks for watching see you next video bye